disturbing. When we throw a dead key, shoot that strong close to 5 or 6 amps. Audio, bring in 50 watts. Audio. Hey, hey, hey. Audio. Let's see if I can't turn this scope on. I'll take a look at the waveform. Haven't done that yet. Audio. Nothing too bad, but that worries me. What you're going to wind up having is this thing's going to get red hot over here on the audio voltage regulator when you have a dead key that high. Yeah. And the next thing you know, it's going to go smoky, smoky. Well, we thought we had this working ready to go, but listening to that, that's not so good. We're going to flip it up to the scope up here, and if we watch the scope, see the little jer jerks in there? And if we listen to this radio over here, it's not a steady signal. Something's clearly wrong with that one. Let's turn the frequency counter on. And nope, there's not getting anything out of the frequency counter. Well, I guess I hooked up the right cable for the frequency counter. Yep, just not locking it under frequency. Gotta love radio sometimes. Okay, after a little bit of resoldering over in the VCO area, we've got this holding steady again. That's what it should do. The split hair underneath the perfect frequency, but it's doing good. Ooh, audio. Now we'll show you the dead key, which is right around 7 watts or so. That's on the high power. I'm going to flip it down to low power. And we've got about 2, 2.5 two dead key. Now, the one thing I want us to do is remember that's on low power. And it's doing about 3 amps right there. We've got to remember I'm drawing about 1 amp um, on key. Flip it up to high power. Doing about 4 amps right there. A heck of a lot better than 6 amps. But yeah, you got about a 6 watt dead key there and a 7 watt dead key on that meter. So it's doing good.